guys hey all right so this is gonna be my review of Karen Chance new book Shattered the Earth let me be honest with you here this is really the Pritkin and Cassidy review I don't really care about everything else going on in the book I only care about Pritkin and Cassie and that's the first time I've said Prit Pritkin out loud and ooh. That's the name. But I only care about Cassie and Perkin. That's all I'm really going to be talking about. So, here we go. The book starts out with Marcia and Cassie on their little run to try to get Marcia's wife, who we discovered couldn't have been all that human. She was doing shit that they didn't know she could do. <laughs> and it didn't go up as planned as it never does with Cassie. And then we go back home and we find out Perkins not really staying at the house because he's because Jonas needed his help. So they've been separated for weeks. Cassie's tired of it as a reader. I'm tired of it. But you know, whatever. Cassie is she's attacked in Pr in Pritkin's <laughs> and then Cassie is attacked in Pritkin's room in the little mage headquarters and she kills the Fae, of course, which makes Pritkin look at her. Everybody's looking at her like, when would you get those skills, buddy? Okay, but she's been secretly time traveling back to train with Agnes and that other chick <laughs> whose name I don't forget. I don't remember. Okay, she's been going back in time to train. She hasn't told Pritkin about that, right? Her, she hasn't told Pritkin, Pritkin. Oh my God. She has not told John. <laughs> we went with John. I cannot say that name. She has not told John much of what she's been doing these past couple of weeks so she got attacked at mage headquarters okay and then john is like well you need to stay away okay because your defenses are better at her place versus mage headquarters if it's after her and she was like it could be after you and he was and there's like clearly it's after you cassie which <laughs> which brings us all back around to like later on where freaking gets attacked Oh no, where Cassie, Kate Cassie, where Cassie goes back to Mage headquarters despite Pritkin telling her not to, and she finds out that there was two attackers, and and then we realize that John knew the whole time that the Faye was probably stalking him. She Cassie got so mad <laughs> when he said this. He yeah, they're arguing, right? Well, they're talking, and then he casually says that he knew the Faye was after him. And Cats is looking at him like, what? And he's like, well, it was in my room. She's like, bitch, that's, <laughs> that's what I said, okay? <laughs> and then you talked me around it and convinced me it was after me, but I was right in the first place, okay? That was hella amusing, all right? But then, uh, what's his name? Cassie was yelling at him about risking her life, risking his life, okay? Because we already know from previous books that Cassie would go to the ends of the earth for Prick for John, <laughs> okay? So she's yelling at him for risking his life and he agrees. And then Jonas fucks up because Jonas only has one agenda. What a, I, you would assume that agenda is ending the war, but you never really know with Jonas, okay? You don't know what that old, the old smart man is thinking. So Jonas makes John angry. Jonas makes John angry, okay? And so John quits. John said, fuck this shit, okay? He really didn't have to quit, but Jonas made him so mad because John was like, it's time for me to go back home. It's time for me to be where I, I need to be with Cassie. And then Jonas was like, uh, I'm ordering you to stay here. And John was like, well, I quit, <laughs> okay? Oh, you know, I felt bad. They've been... Clearly, they had been not spending enough time together, right? Jonas, uh, Pritkin and Cassie had been spending a lot of time together. So all this shit is going on. And John is like, I'm missing it. And this is, that's where I should be. I should be with Cassie. You know, I need to be there to watch over her, to watch her back and to help her with all this stuff. And you see the same on Cassie's side when she's finally with John. And she's like, I finally feel safe and free. Like I can talk. <laughs> I don't have to watch my words. Although she had been watching her words with Prit with Pritkin, she'd been watching her words for a while there. And watching her words with him and he did not like it. He did not like that she was keeping things for him from him. Even though like her not telling him about going back in time, time traveling to get some training. And then when she finally tells him, he's like he already knew that. He was just waiting for her to tell him. 
And you could tell his feelings were hurt that she didn't. But Cassie, all the time they have been spinning apart, I feel, made Cassie confused. <laughs> so made her feel like maybe she shouldn't tell him the things. Whereas before, she had no problem telling Pritkin, Pritkin anything and everything because she trusted him. Which is why his quitting just reaffirms that, you know, like, um, John is not working for the mages. That's not his priority. His loyalty is only to Cassie, as it should be. <laughs> right? Oh, I love this song. I love this. I love them. Mm, I love them. Okay? All right. And then Pritkin and Cassie, John and Cassie have sex and they have demon sex <laughs> okay and apparently that has John that was all within Jonathan's plan and he had to bring it back to Marcia because Marcia and Cassie are tied together with that thing and then John and Cassie had sex demon sex would tie them to Marcia I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie I am slightly confused okay cuz I skimmed through that part <laughs> since I'm only really reading the book. I will reread the book, okay? I'm going to reread it, but I was so excited for it to come out that I really just wanted to read the Cassie and Pritkin parts. And now that I have read them, I will go back to figure out the whole thing with Marcia and Jonathan. I just know that by the end of the book, I just know by the end of the book, after John and Cassie had sex, for some reason, John, Cassie, and Marcia were in some weird little triangle thing where they needed all their powers were like through the roof, but it was like they needed each other to do things. And then Pritkin being Pritkin wanted to keep Cassie safe, it didn't work out like that. And you know, Cassie didn't let him. But at the end, oh man, and then they lost a lot of people. So I don't know what what's this going to do for their war efforts. I don't know what Cassie's going to do about Marcia. I don't know what Cassie's going to do about Marcia and his wife and Marcia and his obsession. But I feel like eh, we should be able to bring the wife back. I don't think it'd be that big a difference to the timeline. But that's just me. Fans love Marcia and they want to see him get a happy ending. I don't really care about Marcia because I don't read the Dory books. So you know the Marcia from the Cassie books. And while I like him, I don't love him so I don't really care. But <laughs> I mean the series is about to end because Karen Chance and all her issues <laughs> with her publishing and all, and all of that shit that I've tried to stay out of. But I should probably look into... Anyway, and the book also had our favorites. We got to see Marco and then Billy. Oh, Billy. I did not know. I was not expecting that, you know. They killed Billy off and I didn't think they would kill Billy off, you know. I never saw it coming. Didn't see it coming. They didn't foreshadow that shit. <laughs> I guess you could say she foreshadowed it because him and Billy had him and Cassie had a moment and she hugged him and showed him her appreciation but no nah, it wasn't that strong and then she killed Billy and I was sad about that I'm like no more Billy we need Billy but apparently she'll get to see him what once a year or once every few years she'll still get to see him okay now the perfect ending to this series for me would be some Pritkin Cassie babies a baby? I would appreciate a baby. Give me a baby. <laughs> but anyway, that's just my review of Shatter the Earth by Karen Chance. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. I'm going to reread it. I'm going to reread it so I can get all the parts that I missed. But for the most part, like I said, I read it for Cassie and Pritkin. And they were going through it just a little bit in this book. But I liked it anyway. Okay? So, that is all I have. <laughs>